Hey everybody, my name is Athens Slime, and today I'm bringing you Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. This is a pretty old game, but since there's a new one coming out pretty soon, I'm pretty sure we're going to be the second Binding of Isaac, and I don't know what it's going to be called. But I decided I'm going to play this, and my stats are horrible because I'm bad at this game. 23 deaths, 0 bomb kills, 60 items. I will be playing for, I don't know, 10 minutes each episode. Um, first goal is to kill mom, because I've never killed mom before. And all the plays I've done. We start. I don't do any challenges either. And I have Eve unlocked. Eve is awesome. You get Dead Bird, Horror Babylon. Uh, Horror Babylon will just. You get down to like half a heart. You just become a beast. Isaac is nothing unless you get Blue Baby. Well, Blue Baby is a seer character basically, and. Uh, to get the D6, which is a which is a item that lets you reroll any other item. Um, yada yada, he has nothing. Madeline or Magadamian, whatever the friggin' name is. It's a young heart, which just restores our health. And I'm just gonna do Isaac for the beginning. Just one minute and fifteen seconds of me explaining crap. These first thirty seconds of the video of the gameplay may be a little bit laggy. Just give it like ten seconds, and look, I'm already hit. <laughs> uh. I die, I die really bad at this game. I suck so much. I, I, I don't even know. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Alright. So, each little floor has a item room, and each item room will give you something different. And, move that off the screen. Sorry for that. And that item will help you advance in the game, or it'll really suck badly and just kill you. I have a wiki that tells me what all the items are, but currently my method of recording is not very good. Uh, sucks. It's so my able to look at that wiki, so I will not be able to tell what anything does. We'll just have to find out through experience. Oh, that fire annoying. Shoot the whoop. Pretty sure it's just fires a laser. It's kind of self explanatory. As you can see, we have coins, bombs, and keys at the very top. Our space button which does our special weapon with three hearts to begin with. This is a boss room. Widow. Widow is a spider that just basically jumps around, spits out stuff, and I'm Oh, that's a shoot with those. Okay, like I said, I have no idea how to use any of this stuff, so kind of like a noob. I don't know if boss fights will be laggy, but if they are, terribly sorry. I haven't been, been recording for a while. Sorry about that. Uh, the person who got me addicted to this game is Fire on Earth. F O E. And, uh, seriously fun game. If it's old, but it's, it's fun. It has very rage inducing gameplay. Like, I'm literally almost dead already. No, 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 <laughs> I found it's very effective to just like shoot and run forward at the same time because then it just releases a crap ton of shots. And you will not be able to advance onto the next level unless all the enemies on the floor or in the boss room are killed. And those are considered enemies. Cat and Nine Tails. Shot speed up, which means I shoot a lot faster. Do you tell? Some items add a different, uh, add different little features to Isaac that will make him look different. It's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me. So, foe, oh, you're watching this. Bad. I am not worthy of watching. Spook. Yes, it's big. Does something. 
I know the or the, the two of spades. I don't know what it does, but the uh, two of diamonds gives you double the amount. And Bill go forward. If I get down to half a heart, a little buddy will appear. What does that do? Okay, thanks. No idea. Webs. It's not like I even want that. Like, I ain't car. So, what are you guys this day? Do I have any anime fans out there? If so, hi. Love anime, it's very fun. Very fun to watch. I um, I just finished Blue Exorcist. That's like 2012! I know. Uh, Attack on Titan's my favorite. Hmm. I've watched Attack on Titan since episode 1 because I was randomly just strolling through animes and I was like, oh, AOT. What does that mean? And I was like, oh my shit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's what it does. Wait. Oh. Oh, yeah. Spawns this little Steven. Say hi, little Steven. Hello! Little Steven's just a little helper. This is a shop. What is that? Oh, it's a steam, steam sale. We're in low health. A soul heart will give you a temporary heart that, once it's depleted, it's kind of just gone. Forevs. Forevs, bra! <laughs> Shoop whoop! Sometimes the item room will require you to have a key, so I suggest always save at least like one key for the item room. Because if not, then you're totally just gonna be screwed. My plan is get the item room and leave. Yes! Wait. Oh no, that's not a cool one. Shoop whoop's there. Look at it, just puts a bunch of little nails around. It's not very fun. But oh, you're just fine. I'm reaching seven minutes here. I'll probably just do it until death, so this may be like a 30 minute long episode. Which is more or less more content for you, but more hard work for me. The saying is tomorrow is Sunday, and I do stuff. You don't have a life! Shut up. Um, if I ever get Mom's Pad, which is an item that repels enemies, I can show you a really cool glitch with this enemy pin. It's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't need to hold down. Okay. Hopefully he comes up so I can freaking use the trip. Yes. But a really cool glitch, uh, Mom's Pad just repels enemies and makes them back away. If I use it on pin, his body will actually split apart and it glitches pretty funnily. Nothing's real until you prove it. Mm. Ah. Yes. Pentagram, just damage. Damage. Shoot the loops actually pretty cool. Never, never hot, had it, hot, hot it, never hot it before. That English. Never have hot it before. So I have Homecoming coming up, and also as well, me being a big old. I grew up on Pokemon, man. Okay, look, listen. Back in 1998. Oh, what is this? Little Seaver in a curse school. Okay, since I don't know what this is, I'm just gonna. Oh no, I don't want this. Probably the best character in this game is Judas. Uh, he's a glass cannon. I don't know what kind of game reference that is. It means he's really powerful, but he's also really weak. You know, cannonballs. Or, you know, they're glass. Glass. Glass cannon. K 
cannons are really strong, but you know, if it's cannon, glass, it's not gonna be good. Shut up. Don't judge me. I have problems. Get the mouse off the screen, Ethan. Sorry. Oh, sad onion. Tears up. Tears up just does stuff. Oh, little, little Eve. Hmm, you little Eve. You cry on eyes out. Tears up either increases damage. I think tears up increases the speed of my shot, or it makes my shots different. Mantro. Mantro is pretty easy boss. I think he's one of the bosses that can be killed with one bomb, but I don't have one bomb, because I'm Eve, and I shoot a dude. Basically, I do is wait for him to shoot a blast, run him really fast. Then he jumps down, he sh- blah, blah, blah. He's gonna spit his crap at us. But we're not gonna take his crap. Oh yeah, dead bird just attacked an enemy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, basically good. Dead bird all the way. Just gonna dead bird fight. Never go. Oh no, four more nights. But this is what Whore Babylon does. Uh, meat. Tears up and HP up, so now I have three hearts instead of two. Oh no. And as I said, it's so hard. Is it so hard? It's so hard. It's just do stuff. Uh, I should probably let you watch that. Okay, burning corpses basically just means they jumped in fire and. I believe they're harder when they're burning. I think they have like more health and stuff. Come on, dead bird. Get him. 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 There you go, dead bird. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. Dead bird go. That is a battle room. I may or may not show that off. Oh, I can't show it off. That's just very taunting. Really? This game's such a dick. Flies are the easiest enemies. These guys, once you get close to them, they shoot off the little blast. Have him kill that guy. Dude, dead bird's so useful. Do I have any Isaac fans out there? Except for fire. Fire is actually one of my subscribers, but I'm not gonna give away his channel name because he likes to be called by his Twitch name and not his real name. So I'm not gonna disrespect him. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. Plays games. Okay. Can I risk it for a biscuit? No, I can't. Risky for a biscuit is another fire term that I hear a lot. Someone else may probably used it, but fire is just a person I've only heard say it. And I mean, it's just balls deep. You do everything you can. Okay, these guys are here. You can kill them. They get pretty strong and fast once you get your attention. If their heads are spewing out blood like that, they shoot shots, and if it's not, they're perfectly normal. Little happy faces. It's basically the same enemy. It's like little happy faces. And they don't get faster, so. I guess they're easier to kill. There's no blood spewing, which means they're perfectly safe to get near and kill. Head spewing. No. Okay, scale. Okay, Yemeni. Probably his name's Jimmy. G Mini, but I call him Yemeni. He's a douche. He run after you, then he'll run out of breath and start attacking you and stuff. That little guy right there is also not very cool. Once you kill, once you kill G, which I believe is a big guy, I'm just gonna call him G. Uh, once you kill G, then Mini will come off G and attack you, turn red. And it's pretty easy to kill the Mini one if you just get him to a corner like this. 
Yeah, just get him into the corner and just take him out. Yep. This is basically the whole game. So I can call them Jimmy. Present. Yes. Okay. Got a key. Got a box. Got a tower card. Strength gives you probably extra strength for one arm. So our mom's pearl. You need that. Pills are either good or bad. Bombs are key. Yes. Good one, Bob. Yeah, but strength probably just gives me extra strength for one whole room. Can go with that. Ah, oh, telepathy for dummies. Okay, telepathy for dummies will basically. Oh yeah, destroying poop and fire from drop keys and stuff. Forgot to mention that, but I haven't been doing that. Okay. Uh, telepathy for dummies just makes your shots go towards enemies. It's pretty self explanatory. I'm gonna guess secret rooms are there. Each level also has a secret room. And secret rooms are very helpful. Hey, Bob. Give me Bob. Give me Bob. Okay, we're done. But, uh, secret rooms can either be defined by two rooms next to each other, and if there's, like, an empty space in, the, in between them, then you see your lab, you know. Okay, so, this, like, room right here, that could either be a secret room, or that could be. They're usually defined by a little tiny, like, this room, this room, if there's something in between, probably a secret room. There are also angel and devil rooms, and those are basically, they could be on any floor they want. And they, there can be a secret room and an angel and devil room on the same floor. Oh, a little present. Ah, it's boop. Thanks, Mom. But a uh, spacebar item just means some recharge by hit, or some just recharge instantly. If you can get a 12 volt battery, which is a just a little perk. Uh, it will basically just charge your items super fast. And the... Excuse me. The best... The best space bar item, in my opinion, is the Carry Me Candle, which is a candle that just has blue flames. And it's just... Beast. Probably just get a single mom kill with that, and just that only. Shoot a new these guys have no faces, but if they had faces, they'd either A, be lunging at me, or B, be shooting spitballs at me. Uh, there's two, there's three kinds. There's these. There's the ones that actually charge at you, and there's ones that spit tears at you. Yeah, this game's pretty unique in its bosses. And now you can get, you can run into a boss that is different color, like you can run into a pink giant spider, which just means they're different perks. Uh, there's seven deadly sins as well, which are just mini bosses basically, and they're pretty easy to kill. Now I'm going to. This is very cocky. I'm going to see if I can just do this room. What is it? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, Chub. Chub is a maggot basically, and. Guided stronger missiles. But uh, these little maggots right here are the ones that lunge at me. Dark Chub, you don't mind. You can also make Chub eat bombs, which is pretty cool. But telepathy bolts will just follow the, find the enemy. Now, every boss comes in different colors. Chub can be red, orangish, orange is kind of red. Wooden spoon, speed up, which makes my running speed up. Like I said, I'm very cocky, so I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna go to the item room, and then I'm gonna go back to Chub. Chub. 
Now, if you kill the boss and then you leave the room, you're perfectly fine. Don't need to worry about losing. Dead bird. Help me, please. Dead bird, help me, please. Dead bird, carry me. Okay, these are basically the heads, but they can float around. So. A little bit more difficult. No! Alright, thank you guys for watching the very first episode of Binding of Isaac. And that makes my stats 25 deaths and 66 items. Secrets found already. Curse. Dead bird. Nine locked Eve. Left hand. Small rock. Monstrous tooth. Parasite. Bean. Spunker, Yamhart, Magdalene. You can tell I'm using a laptop because swag is a swag. Thank you guys, and I'd like you all to have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day.